disgusting diamond tools. We're in the future, baby. We gotta get some netherite. So today, we're gonna get some netherite and upgrade my axe and my shovel. But of course, the more important point today is teaching you guys the best ways to get netherite. Where to find it, how to get it, how to not waste your time. Now we could just take out our pickaxe and go mining, but that's gonna take way too long. So grab either some TNT or some beds. And we're gonna do some explosive mining to cover more ground. So in my case, I have a bunch of beds in this green shulker box here, so I'll take you. Because if you didn't know, if you try and sleep in the nether, the bed actually explodes. So it's like a little explosive. It's pretty cool. But yes, let's go into our nether portal and go find ourselves netherrack. Now I've already mined around my portal area, so I'm going to go far away somewhere else. But guys, you want to go pretty low down to the ground, okay? Get to the lowest part of netherrack that you possibly can find. This is because there's lava everywhere, so if I accidentally mine down into lava, that's gonna be no bueno. Now, if you guys watch this series often, you might know down this way is where our nether fortress is. Hey, stop it. And we were just here like two videos ago going to collect wither skulls, so that was pretty fun. Oh, now you guys spawn. What excellent timing. Down here's a pretty good low spot, so let's go down over- oh, Okay, we're down. We want to get down to between level 22 and level 8 for our Y coordinate. And again, this is good because the lava lake is right here, so I doubt there'll be any lava lakes underneath us, so let's start digging. By the way, don't dig straight down, I'm just a maniac. Alright, I'm gonna stop at level 16. This is my just lucky number, I guess, for now. Now again, the lower the better, because the higher up we go, that's where the lava's probably gonna be, so... Lower than this is probably better, but I'm gonna stick here. Now, do a little strip mine here. So mine out just a two by one hole going in one direction. Now time to take out the beds. Now in this strip mine, look at one of your walls and dig out like as many blocks as you can. I think you can do like five max. And at the end of this little tunnel, put down a bed and click on it, back up, get ready to take damage. Bada bing, bada boom, a giant hole has exploded and look for ancient debris. Oh my gosh, one right here. Hello, I missed that. Well, that's it, guys. That's how you get ancient debris really fast. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I'd get it that quick, but if you want to get ancient debris, that's my go-to method. And I just do this over and over. So I'll just go down, like, let's say 10 more blocks this way, do the same thing, place down one more bed, bada-bing, bada-boom, out. Anything? Hello? No. It's tough because there's so much fire around here, but guys, I promise you, this method absolutely slaps. By the way, if you want a really in-depth guide for doing this, I have a separate video dedicated solely to this strategy, so if you want to go watch that, I'll link it down below. Now, if you want to make a netherite ingot, you need to actually get four of these ancient debris, so we're going to be here for a while. And I want to repair two different tools, so I'm going to need to get eight ancient debris. Yeah. I also recommend you make an automatic sheep farm. That way you get infinite wool for infinite beds. And in true Farzy fashion, I'll link a sheep farm down below once again. I have so many farms, I can just go like link, 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 link. <laughs> we got a two for one right here. Are you kidding me? What luck is that? And if you're new here, great moments like that require one specific thing. And that is disco break. If you're new, just go with it. All right, about half an hour later, we have eight ancient debris. That was not long at all. So that just goes to show you guys with a little bit of patience, you can be very, very rich. Um, we have a visitor. Hello, buddy. Go away. Anyways, for the next part of the process for getting netherite, you need to go and smelt your ancient debris in a big old blast furnace. And quick plug as we wait, if you want to watch more episodes of this series, oh, we're done. I still want to finish my sentence. I post videos in this world every single Friday, so if you want to watch more of this Let's Play series, Friday is your day. That being said, let's take out our ancient, not ancient, netherite scraps. Look at these bad boys. These are very essential. They look like an ice cream sandwich, minus the ice cream. But we are going to combine these with gold ingots. So go to your crafting bench, put four of these bad boys up top, put four of these gold thingies down here. Ooh, huh? My bad, take out the bottom right corner, and there we go. A netherite ingot fit for a king. 
That's a really weird crafting recipe, but you know what? It's okay. Now we're gonna waltz our way into my library to find a smithing table, which I actually have one right over here at the end. We simply put our tool inside of here, smack a netherite ingot in there, and that's how we get a netherite axe. And a shovel, don't forget the shovel. And there we go, guys, we have full netherite gear. Every tool, every piece of armor that we have in our arsenal is netherite. Now, one of the reasons I want to get a netherite axe is so we can go tree chopping because today I want to make a brand new building in this kingdom. If you guys are new, this kingdom is five years old and I'm always trying to think of new building ideas to put inside here because it really is massive and I got to fill up the space. And up this road here, we've been cranking out so many new building ideas on my live streams. Like back over here is like a hunter butcher kind of shop thing. Over here is our mob head shop that we made recently. And my newest build right over here is actually a cute little warehouse. Very simple, very ugly to be honest, but inside just a bunch of barrels. It looks really immersive and cool. I love it. But today we are going to make a fishing house because over in this area, we have a giant like shipping port with tons of water and a fox in a boat. What was this guy's name again? If you remember his name, comment down below. I'll heart your comment. But yeah, out here is a great place to go fishing, so I figure somewhere like right here next to the port will have a fishing hut. I actually have some fishing huts over on that coast over there, but they're way too far away. So time for a new fishing building. So first things first, we're gonna travel up into the mountains over here where I have a little sneaky spruce wood farm, which I guess that means we're using spruce wood today, boys. Ah, uh, look at it, it's glorious. The giant hunk of spruce wood. <laughs> we bow down to our king. Look at the speed on this netherite ax. Okay, okay. I don't want to brag, but I think I made the right call getting this axe. This thing is whipping away. Oh, I'm out of fireworks. I can't whisk away with my elytra. Dang it. All right, we got our blocks and let's begin building. So I'm going to build it right here around this little corner right in front of the door. So I'm going for a kind of weird shape. It'll be like a square with an extra square out in the front of it as like a porch. And honestly, I'm just going to kind of wing it right now. So hopefully it's not going to be too ugly, but I guess we'll see. Okay, quick pit stop to the treehouse because I need to go get some fireworks because we're out of oak wood. I decided to use a little bit more oak for our build, so I need more of that wood, but there's no oak trees around me, so I gotta go fly somewhere else to get some. And hello, zombie with shovel. How you doing? Oh yeah, so I was saying I need to go get fireworks so I can go whisk away somewhere and find some more wood. And I have a mob farm up in my treehouse here, so if I can get to the top, that'd be great. It's very, very big. <laughs> Oh, look at that sunset. Oh, beautiful. I love my custom sky. It's amazing. First, let's sleep. All right, do I have any gunpowder in here? None. One. None. That sucks. Whatever, I'll make do with the few fireworks I have left. But anyways, let's go find some oak trees, which should be... Well, that's dark oak over there. Maybe some oak over here. It's crazy, I have everything in this game that you could possibly want. I have netherite tools, a giant kingdom, a giant vault full of diamonds, but I don't have oak wood. These swamp trees will do just fine. Who are you looking at, kid? And there we go, the house exterior looks just about done. What do you guys think? It's like a little bit of a rectangle with a little front porch here, then a little bit of like a balcony over here on the side. So yeah, it looks kind of like a normal house right now, but eventually after we put down like some barrels, some fish, just some more like fishing shoppy things, fishing shoppy things. Basically after some more fine details, it's gonna look a lot better. So that being said, I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back in a second. And look at this house right here. Plenty of details on the outside and the inside, but look at all the plants we have, the grass, a few barrels. It looks really nice and just like natural, but the inside is really cool. Tons of barrels. Eventually I'll put like item frames on here with fish inside of them. A little secret bed here for the shop owner. And of course, my new personal favorite thing to build when I do houses or shops is an underground basement. I usually don't do these, but as of recently, I've been loving how they come out. And a little small window down here, a little cute thing. But yeah, guys, this area of the kingdom is shaping out so nicely. I'll give you guys like an aerial view really quick. I'll go up here on top of the water tower. So this area here, there's houses everywhere. The only last spot left in this little corner is right back there. We could put something over here, maybe like a, just a small little shop, like a 
tiny, tiny shop right here. By the way, I don't know why these things are here. It's just a little empty pond down here. But yeah, we are just filling up this kingdom so fast. Once again, I know I kind of said this earlier, but if you guys are new, this kingdom is massive and I need to fill it up with cool shops, cool buildings, and I have a lot more space to go. Like all back here, like this open land. And back over here towards the far side of the kingdom, we have a little bit of space back here and next to the church over there, there's just plenty of real estate that we need to fill up. So if you if you have any cool shop ideas, please, I beg you, comment them down below, come to my Saturday streams and put it in chat, whatever you do, but I gotta think of ideas in a bad way. Well guys, I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. We got a lot of stuff done and I'm pretty proud of ourselves. But if you guys are new, every single day I get a comment of the day from last episode. And I take that comment and put it up in this giant rainbow staircase called the comment rainbow. So on that note, let's go get the comment of the day. And today, in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who I believe is new. What the heck? Why is there a llama on my comment rainbow? Bro, go away. This is not the time for you. Oops. Get off my rainbow, bro. What are you doing up here? Llamas aside, today's comment is from Novice Gaming Zone. I couldn't fit the whole name. I'm sorry, Novice. But he said, missing disco breaks. Crushed heart emoji, sad face. And Novice, today I did a disco break for you. I was thinking about you, man. Funny story, if you guys don't know why I do disco breaks, it's just some random little fun thing I do. It's totally meaningless, but it's funny. I like it, so I do them. We just take a break from the game just to dance a little bit. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.